Hey, what's up, everybody? Video 44 coming at you in another video. All right, so DeMar DeRozan has signed on with Nike uh, to represent Kobe Bryant's brand. It's being worded that he is going to be the new face of the brand. But I saw something, don't know if it was legit or not, that said it of itself to have been represented from by Vanessa Bryant saying that no one is the face of Kobe Bryant's brand going forward. So that's what I'm going to respect until I find that that was either not true or is. I'm going to roll with the fact that she says she doesn't like it being worded that way. That's not what the agreement is or what have you. I'm rolling with her. So either way, congratulations to DeMar DeRozan on his new Nike deal and the affiliation that he has with the Kobe brand. I'm pretty sure he will wear it with pride. Um, as an L.A. native, we know if, if you're from Los Angeles, you know exactly where DeMar DeRozan's from and, and what um, what he stands for, what he's overcome, and, and just how much of a miracle his success actually is. So I don't think there's many more that could be more worthy, especially given the fact that he plays the position um, that Kobe played, you know. I think I think it makes sense in a lot of ways. And, you know, you want to see Kobe's brand continue, man. You don't want it to fade away. You want to keep the shoes going. You want to see them make new ones as well. You want to keep the emblem alive, and that's most important. I respect what Nike wants to do. Obviously, they're going to benefit from that. I will trust that that money will be going, uh, that the portion necessarily will still be going to the Bryant um, family and, and, and what matters there is taken care of first that's that's what matters here is that they're they're getting their benefit from it first and foremost uh so yeah that's that's what i wanted to share just the information that i've been given and that then the, the understanding that that's floating out there that she was not uh vibing with how that was worded um and look there's no replacing kobe Bryant. this is not it's not something anyone's going to try to do i don't think nike's going to attempt to do that I know DeMar DeRozan's intention is to carry Kobe's legacy forward and, and promote the brand. Um, and, and, and no more, no less. I'm certain of that. And so, um, you know, I, I'm definitely in support of what they're doing in that regard so long as she's in support of it uh, and the family as a whole. So that's what it's about, man. All in all, you know, I think about all of the situations, uh, you know, just, just surrounding the NBA right now just to segue on and, and you know we just are, are very poised for it to start back at this point now we just want some basketball to start uh, we want some training camp to begin obviously training camp is coming up very soon the fourth is right around the corner two days from now so we know eligibility is 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 there and of course since we're talking about the Lakers obviously LeBron James is the big story um, with his extension being eligible at that time so your guess is as good as mine <laughs> is, is, is he gonna sign it is he not I don't know does it really matter in the grand scheme of things maybe not to be honest with you if, if he's just gonna resign at the end of the year anyway maybe it makes more sense you know to let him make his own decision come to his own conclusion and make benefit from it in the long run if you're the Lakers applying a little faith in the king especially given the fact that he does have a history that would make it so that most organizations logically would not apply that faith him giving us the four years initially may just may be a heads up for us to make the nod and giving him that leeway since he gave it to us first I think that's kind of what he was hoping we would see. I see it as a Laker fan. I hope the Laker front office sees it as well. There's a certain level of respect and a grace that I think someone, um, I don't know if the word should really works. Because I don't believe in shoulds. I don't believe in that. That's uniform stuff. But I think, I think I've seen it work, I guess you could say. When a person who has the household, you're welcoming someone in your household, you give them the right away. If they ask you if they can use the restroom, yes. 
they may use the restroom. I'm not going to deny you that ever, right? But it's still respectful that you ask. You know, it's just decorum. But the house is mine, right? So my door is open. You are bringing your presence in. You can walk in or out of that door accordingly, right? But if I'm the holder of the house and I lock the door behind you, and I suggest that you have the right to leave, like this is a club. But, you know, once you start going in and out, I start looking at you funny. Or if it's one of those situations like that, it's like, oh, or I, I, I'm saying, well, you can leave, but mm, after a certain hour, maybe you shouldn't just come. Maybe you should knock. Maybe, you know, that kind of thing. Or it's like, so that you don't feel as welcome. You know what I mean? Or acting as if. Even though this is my house, you're supposed to be giving me some hospitality, so to speak. You understand what I'm saying? It's the Lakers house. Bron is the guest. He gave us the respect of, of giving us the four years initially, as he never does anyone. And I, most could, could see the, the angle there of him benefiting him, of course, because he want to lock up as you get a certain age. Of course, it's Los Angeles. He wants to be here. Again, this is Los Angeles. He wants to be here. So that part is a part that we should think about double time as it pertains to what we're talking about. Because it does lend to why you should have such leeway as to let him to come and go as he pleases. Because you know, at the end of the day, he wants to be in Los Angeles. With the Lakers. Because for his legacy, going to the Clippers probably won't cut it unless he absolutely wins multiple championships. And given his age, can't guarantee that. So even if he were to go to the Clippers, it's not going to work because now he's left the Lakers to go to the Clippers and that ain't never going to work if you're LeBron James. So you understand that he has to leave LA if he leaves the Lakers. He don't want to leave LA. But he does want to feel like he's at home with the Lakers. Can't feel at home if you're locking the door behind him. Tell him he has to knock twice to get back in. That type of thing. Leave the door open. Let him have the ability to walk away freely as it crushes you if he does. Why do you give him this ability? Because you allow him to freely walk and come and go as he pleases. And if he feels welcome, he will stay. Because he doesn't really want to leave. Why? Because if you look everywhere else, everywhere else doesn't look as good if you look close enough. But if you make this place look bad, those places look better. And it's going to look bad if you lock the door behind him when he starts looking around at other places. And that is the point. A guy like him likes the freedom to be able to move. That is what makes him tick, the power that he has to will. He loves having power, and he also trusts that he knows what he's doing with it at this point. He's made mistakes with it in the past. Leaving the Lakers right now under these circumstances, especially if you leave the door open, as to which when you leave the door open, not only are you letting him walk, but you're also taking back the cap space he walks with, which means Somebody else is taking that bag behind him. I don't think he's going to want that. Not while he's playing. Nah. Why? Because he still wants to live in L.A. <laughs> and there's no other reason to leave this place unless he finds a place that's absolutely better than that. As to which Miami would need to shuffle some things around. Golden State would need to shuffle some things around. And I don't see that being possible in the window of time that he has to play. So unless he wants to go to New Orleans or Minnesota and places where he actually probably really has a chance to win. You know, places like that. Nah. He's going to stay right here unless we ruin the place. So in my mind, if he does not sign this extension, you can play the security button and say, you know what, let's trade him for Katie, get back the four-year deal. But that is going to trigger to not only LeBron, but to everybody that you don't have the faith and allowing these players to have the freedom that they ultimately desire so very much that they know is about to be wrestled away from them in the next collective of bargaining agreement. And this is chess, not checkers. I believe wholeheartedly that if the Los Angeles Lakers allow him the ability to walk away, he won't. He won't. Unless we do a bunch of things that muck up the situation. But as of right now, without doing anything bad to the situation, I think we're good enough to where he can see a foundation of flexibility, <clears throat> the possibility of flexibility. And that is enough, I think, to keep him in the sunshiny state of Los Angeles, or California, city of Los Angeles, of course. But I'm trying to tell you, 
that I think the Lakers can ruin the situation by overreacting to him not signing the extension. If he chooses not to sign it. Now, if he chooses to, get, to sign it, all is well. I think that benefits him, gives him security in this league going forward. The injuries he's had, it's, it's probably good to sign this extension in a lot of ways. But if for some reason he feels the desire to test the free agent market, I think the Lakers would be wise to leave the door open for him to walk out and back in because he's home. He's home, Genie. <laughs> the part of getting someone to be compliant and wanting to believe in the business of the basketball as a means of, of investing in it is making them feel comfortable in the presence of basketball as an artist. Part of it. Artist. As an artist myself, one of the biggest things I value is not having to worry about money. Not that I have that presence in my life, but it's something that I value just the same, probably more than anything else, is the presence to not have to worry about it. Not as it pertains to not wanting money or wanting money, but just not having to think about it as it pertains to the art form. I want to do the art form. I want to do the art form above everything else. A guy like LeBron James, I believe, wants to do the art form above everything else. But a part of being able to do the art form is being able to freely move around with the power that he's earned as a player that he is. So in my mind, this age, you want to settle. And the better places to play are not better places to settle. But it may not benefit him to sign this extension. So we got to let him come to that conclusion on his own. we got to let him work his progressions out. Because he's still got to be LeBron James while living here. And maybe that means a power struggle here or standing strong there. But at the end of the day, his interests are still the same. He wants to be in Los Angeles for the Lakers. Unless we ruin it. So if you value him being here, which a lot of us do, we need not ruin it. And if you don't value him being here, the time to trade him was six months ago. I can't stress that enough. Six months ago was when to do it. Otherwise, I think it's too late. And I'm fine with that because I didn't want to do it anyway. Once I came to the conclusion that him being part of this organization will probably benefit us for many, many years to come. Long after he's played. Especially looking and seeing the type of players that could be signing with Clutch down the pipeline. Type of young players <laughs> that, are, that are going to be available through that company to the Lakers is... It's, it's more than obvious because we are the number one landing spot in the league based on everything we've already spoken about, of course. So clearly, Clutch is going to be trying to funnel people to the Lakers just by sheer nature of the NBA. It's best to have a great relationship with Ron because it can make for a lot of an, a lot of easy, easy moves in the future for not only the Lakers, but the entire league, obviously. So that relationship is important. So I've taken that into account. That's why I'm like, yeah, no, we keep him. We keep him even if it doesn't necessarily feel like the only way to win, I guess is what you can say. You can find other ways to do it, but I think this is the way that helps us keep that relationship sharp. Gives him a good way to finish his career in a way that he would be pleased with, you know what I mean? And uh, that's ultimately what he deserves as one of the great players to ever play this game. So I think we should also be happy to see him succeed just off of the strength of what he's already given the league. We've benefited greatly from Braun. Should we not want to see him end in a space that he's pleased with? You know what I mean? Obviously, we can't give guys championships just for being great, but I think he deserves to have an opportunity to compete. That's what I would say. I think he, Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, all these guys that have been in this league for a long time, I'd love to see them finish with an opportunity to compete for a championship. So, you know, I don't know if the pundits are, are, are promoting that. Maybe they want you to hate these guys, but I just don't believe it. I don't, I don't feel that way. I really don't. I want to see dudes successful on their way out. So that's how I feel, man. That's how I feel. I'm talking a lot about LeBron James lately, and the reason why is because I think I didn't talk enough about LeBron James. As a Laker fan, I've talked about a lot of stuff throughout the season. LeBron gets the least amount of credit. So this offseason, I wanted to zero in on him a bit more, and that's why you see me doing that. Um, so... It is what it is, man. It is what it is. Hopefully, uh, come the fourth, we will be at peace. I know I am. And I also understand that just because he chooses not to sign the extension does not mean that he's choosing not to be with the Lakers. If anything, he just wants to make sure certain things are taken care of leverage-wise, maybe. Maybe he wants to make sure the Lakers are, willing, are doing what they're supposed to do on their side, maybe. Or 
he's looking elsewhere and wants to get the hell out of here. So there are all different types of avenues he could take, or different paths this could go, and those options are his. And if we snatch them from him, believe you me, this place ain't gonna look as good to him. So that's what I gotta say, man. My name is BDO44. Thank you all for watching. I'm out.